Hi everybody, my name is Brandon. I'm here with Access RV. Today I want to walk around one of my favorite kind of introductory couples trailer. Gives you a lot of features, a lot of quality, dollar per dollar. Uh, a lot of stuff they do different than the competitor that really keeps them a peg above. So without further ado, this is a 2019 Coachman Viking 16 FB. 16 kind of refers to the floor length. Uh, the FB is for a front bed. One of the things I like to highlight on this is that they are still utilizing a front window. Uh, so this is right above your bed on the inside. You can have that open, get more light inside obviously. See the stars, really soak in the scenery around you. Coming around on this side, a lot of smaller lightweight trailers. They only give you two stabilizer jacks or they're optional. Coachman with their Vikings give you a corner stabilizer jack at each corner so you get all four of those included. You are also pre-wired for portable solar panels with this plug right here. Large pass-through storage. Now with these two, they all as a standard have a electric awning. Really easy, just push a button, run it in and out. You don't have to fight any poles, fight the wind. Makes a lot more simple to use. Continuing back, I appreciate that they're using an aluminum wheel. Looks a lot dressier than just your painted steel. Saves on some weight. Uh, and on that note, while we're down here, if you want to peek underneath here, you'll notice these guys are using a five and a quarter inch I-beam frame. That's what a lot of full-size travel trailers use. The advantage to that is by having that thicker frame, you got more room under your subfloor for a lot larger tanks than average. Uh, continuing back, large folding entry assist handle, makes a lot more stable getting in and out. Coming around the rear, all of them are going to be standard with a spare tire, as well as an outside shower. This is not a common feature that you find on a lot of ultralights. Really nice to have. And while we're back here, I always like to point out the roof. It is common with smaller trailers that you'll find they'll have a flat roof a lot of times. Just like a house, you don't want one stud going across and supporting everything that's up there. Having that four and a half inch crown truss makes it a walkable roof. It helps a lot with snow load and you don't get any puddling of water. It runs off and will utilize the rain spouts better. Continuing around this side, for people where they're going more off-road, doing more rugged style camping, they're always worried about ground clearance, uh, hitting their dump valves, that kind of thing. What's cool about these is if you look under here, they actually have a rotatable dump valve. So when you're ready to empty, swing it down, let gravity do its thing. When you're done, rotate it back up out of the way and it doesn't hurt your ground clearance that extra several inches. And then moving forward, I talked about this large outside pass-through storage. If you look in there, you see it goes all the way through. The bed base lifts up so it's accessible from inside as well. Gives you just oodles of storage on this. Uh, one other thing I always like to talk about on the exterior of these that's unique is these guys are using the corrugated aluminum exterior. The industry standard for that thickness is going to be 0.019 inches thick. The Vikings are using 0.024. So you're a lot thicker, it's going to be a lot less prone to dents, dings, uh, and damages that way. So let's pop inside, we'll look at some cool stuff in there too. Hey everybody, so now let's go through the inside of this 2019 Coachman Viking 16FB. A lot of really cool stuff to talk about in here too. So without further ado, one of the first things I always like to mention is if you look at the ceiling in here, all the lights are LED, they generate no heat, uh, tens of thousands of hours at the last so you're not replacing them coming forward of that these guys are going to be using actual hardwood with uh, mortise and tenon construction uh, for all their cabinets and drawer fronts they're not using a laminate cheaper wood in fact it's nice even on their overhead cabinets they've got the strut to help hold the cabinet up so that you're not having to try to hold it up with one hand while you're shoving all your groceries in with the other uh, while you're looking for ultralights, this is a big one I always like to cover. You want a roof-mounted AC. This is an actual RV air conditioner. Some other people in the entry-level ultralights, you'll find like a wall-mounted air conditioner. Same type of thing like you'd see in an apartment window. Now, those are not designed specifically for RVs. They're not meant to be bouncing down the road at 60, 70 miles an hour. 
So it's common that those can kind of develop leaks and issues over time. You really want to stick with an actual RV air conditioner. Uh, with the stereo system, you do have inside and outside speakers. This is a Jensen system, so a name brand that everybody recognizes. And it's going to be AM, FM, uh, and Bluetooth, so you can pair your phone to it, do your calls through the system as well. Now coming up forward, we've opened up this front window so you can see just how great that is at letting in more light, giving you more of a view. You also have the cabinets wrapping around the head of the bed. Uh, a lot of times manufacturers exclude those, so you do get tons of storage in here. And on that storage note, this is that pass-through that I mentioned you have access to from the inside as well. Now, panning around to the kitchen, uh, you're going to have a two-burner cooktop, your sink, your refrigerator down here with a trapdoor freezer up top, as well as a microwave range hood combo. And then, moving back here, we'll check out the bathroom. You'll notice you don't have that tub-shower combo, so you're actually lower to the ground. Gives you more headroom, more of an adult-oriented shower. And one thing that I really adore about this model is storage for such a small trailer. Back here in this rear closet, it's kind of tight for our cameraman, but you'll see great spot for shoes, huge coat closet, and then another one above. And on our way out, one last thing I'd like to mention is up here on the control panel, You'll notice it is the electric awning, but they also have some USB ports built in there. So if you have a phone, tablet, you can charge it directly off the battery, not have to worry about a generator or shore power. So again, my name was Brandon. I've been selling these for the better part of a decade. Really great brand, know them like the back of my hand. Any questions, give us a call. We're more than happy to be your trailer guys.